Okay, well it's uh, 4.52, I wanted to leave by 5 o'clock going to Sandy Flat Campground, which isn't too far away. I'm trying to see what I need and don't need because this summer, spring, summer, I'm going on quite a few camping excursions. So I just want to make sure I have what I need to camp. So I do have a lot of stuff, there's no doubt about it, I, I get it. Definitely the bike's heavier, all in. Probably have about 100 pounds with Moscow Moto gear. I have some extra water just to see what that feels like. I'm looking forward to it, although it may be, it may rain for a few hours. I'm sure I forgot something. I think if you go camping for even one night, particularly a longer trip, make a list, write it out so you don't forget something. It is five o'clock, so we are going to get the five o'clock traffic. Okay, we're going to stop up here before we head into that area. You can see the gray clouds there. Hmm. Wonder if it's going to rain. Sunshine that way to the west. Maybe some rain going to the east. We shall see. Okay, I don't really need gas. I just need to get something from the store like... <laughs> I need to get change. When the bike's loaded, you gotta kinda... So let me go in here and see if I can get some money. And a couple of these bars here. It says it's a health bar, but... Can I break the hundred? Oh, great, thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, that was easy peasy, wasn't it? Okay. Look at that. What a great motorcycle. We got wood too. Oh, pink. Hello. Hi there. How you doing? Good. First time here. And you sell wood, perfect. Yeah. So you might. I'll be out by 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. No, what was your name? Kenny. Kenny, I'm Dave. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, that's my job. Okay, 32, I'm gonna go find 32 right now. It's hard to get on with all the stuff. I'm telling you. Site 32, Kenny says, is good. He'll bring the wood, which is awesome. Site 32, let's see what we got here. Okay, 32 is what we're going to look for.
the main reason for going this short camp trip, like it's only 50 miles from my house, maybe 60, is just to see what I have, what I need. Uh, this summer I'm gonna go camping quite a few days. I just wanna just kinda get my gear all hooked up. I have everything, but sometimes I have a tendency to bring too much. Sometimes I forget things. I'll lay everything out and we'll go through each one of the things that I, each one of the items that I brought to see, is it really necessary? Anyway, let me turn off here and I'll get the stuff packed up and put on this table and we'll go from there. Okay, well, I've uh, cleaned up my campsite and I've packed everything up and individually laid it out here so I can show you what I take with me camping. And do I take too much, take too little? Did I use everything, did I not use everything? So let's start with what I did not use. This is the table by Trekology. It's a great table, light table. I use it all the time, but today we had this picnic table, so I didn't need this today. So if I knew I was gonna have a picnic table, I wouldn't need this table. Okay, first the tent. It's a Lone Rider tent. It's a big tent. Take this if you're gonna go, I don't know, stay two or three days, but one night, maybe something smaller, get late at night, set up quick, tear down easy. This is, a, you know, it takes some time to set up, tear down. It's 12, probably 15 pounds all in. Uh, this is the sleeping bag. I was cold last night. It got down to about 34 degrees, and this bag is, uh, I don't know what it is, 20 degrees. So I was a little uncomfortable, but not bad, but a little uncomfortable. So make sure you get the right sleeping bag for the right temperature. This is my q Core Deluxe. This is the sleeping pad that I sleep on. This thing is awesome. Feather, very expensive, but it's like sleeping at home. It's really a good pad, so you need that. Towel. I always bring a towel with me camping just for whatever reasons, but I use it to put underneath my pad, my sleeping pad, in the tent. When this is underneath the sleeping pad, it just helps prevent those little sharp things from getting to your pad and creating a leak. If it creates a leak, you're gonna be miserable for the whole night. So I put this, first thing I use this towel is underneath my sleeping pad. Okay, and this here is simply a blow up pillow. A little pillow blows up, I gotta sleep with a pillow. So I used the sleeping bag, the pillow, and then the sleeping pad. Do I need this? This is a motorcycle cover. I typically always cover my motorcycle if there's people around, just, uh, I don't know, make them go away. I didn't need this today probably, but I did use it. This is a chair, fold up chair. I've done a review on this fold up chair. It's a great chair, I did use it. This is uh, Ice Mule Cool, this is my refrigerator. So in here I kept some beverages, some uh, food, non-perishable items that I didn't eat. So I do need this, but I could have got out without it this trip. Because I ate this, crappy dry food. Hey, it works in a pinch, but you know, I'd avoid it if I could. This is my suitcase for my clothes. This is my nighttime bathroom. This is a tarp that goes, the, the, for the low rider tent, it has a uh, tarp that comes with it underneath your sleeping quarters, but then it's kind of dirt when you're outside with the second quarter, so I lay this tarp out to keep it nice and clean. I, do I need it? No, but I use it. These are lights. They're solar powered lights. They pack up this thin. You hang them in your tent, gives you great light inside your tent or outside your tent. I did use those. This is the chair. I take this almost always with me. It's a fold out chair. I can put it in my tent, get dressed. I can use it as a coffee table. But I use this camping all the time. I wouldn't leave home without it. Uh, my cooking supplies, I carry a little off just for bugs, just in case. They're my MSR um, cooking kit, it works great with a little bit of gas. Fantastic, hits things up very quickly. I carry a little gas thing, and this is the case that I store all my cooking, all this stuff in when I go. Also, I have a little lightweight hammer to pound in steak, so for whatever use. This is what I take. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Now, I get the tent. I could go to a smaller tent, maybe weighs half the weight. This is 15 pound, maybe get a seven pound tent. That would be adequate. But I like to be able to stand up in the tent. There's some, there's some comfort there, but is it necessary? Probably not. Everything, and I used everything except this table that I normally use, but I didn't use. So all, most of this goes in my, this Moscow bag, my sleeping gear and all this. And then in my motorcycle back here, what's on the bike is things that I carry with me all the time. This doesn't include all my camera equipment. So I've got some camera equipment that takes up space as well. Not every trip there been camera equipment, almost, because I like to videotape this stuff. So you look at this stuff, 
what do I need? What should I get rid of? What should I exchange? I know the tent, sleeping bag, it's gonna be fine for summertime. I like having uh, cold food with me. So there you go. And thanks for watching so much. And if you've, if you've stuck around this long, if you could uh, give me a thumbs up, I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks so much.